Hello, Herkimer County. This is Michelle Hummel, Executive Director of the Herkimer County Chamber of Commerce. I am here today with Dave Warner, our producer, as Hello. always. How are you doing? Very well. How about you, Dave? Awesome. Great. Beautiful weather again. Another good day. It's We've had a nice stretch. I know. We, we have. We're, we're doing well. Mm -hmm. We're okay because the start sucked. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. <laughs> to I'll be honest. It. No, there's no snow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, really. <laughs> and, and we're here today with uh, Village of Frankfurt Mayor Rick Adams. Yes, thanks. Yeah. I appreciate being we here. You seem uh, to be doing a mayor tour, I suppose, but <laughs> we've been good. interviewing a, a lot thing. lately. Yeah. yeah. It's something you want to hear from, right? Yeah. You hear from the mayors, find out what's going on in the different communities. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's a big deal. It, Frankfurt seems to be, I mean, from an outsider looking in, outsider, I live in Illion. I mean, it's not that far out, um, but it seems to be doing really well. I, I, The citizens I speak with are very happy. Um, it seems like you're doing all the right things. We're, we're trying, that's for sure. Good. Obviously, we can't make everybody happy. We, right. we do try. Mm -hmm. um, but some people don't like some ideas and other people love that same idea. So mm -hmm. you got to weigh it out and, and see what direction is best to go for the community. Right. So. Well, we're going to get into a few things. But uh, most recently, I, I do want to mention to you, talk about the downtown chow down. Yep. And I thought that was wonderful that Frankfurt stood up and, and said, hey, we'll host while you can't. Yep. Um, so I want to commend you for that, number one, that that was wonderful. Yeah, I mean, it, think about this. Uh, it's a, it, it comes down to politics, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody has a feeling that that might have been related to politics. Yeah. At the end of the day, an event like that is about community. And we, of course, want our community to have these events. We want them to be together. We want them to celebrate things. We want them to just have a good time together. And to let that sit on a shelf for two weeks, it wasn't going to happen if I could help. I thought that was a wonderful thing that you did. Yeah. And I could tell everybody enjoyed it. And you also potentially sparked a new type of event in your own backyard. Yeah, Any yeah. thoughts on um, that? Actually, yeah. We did. Uh, last year, we kicked off the Harbor Fest. I don't know if you're familiar with that. Yes. Um, that was our first year. Uh, we figured we'd have all our hurdles and our trips and falls and uh, try to get through them and clean things up for the, the following event, which uh, is, in fact, still scheduled for this year. We're going to do our second event in September on the 24th. Um, but beyond that, it sparked interest because we were su so successful with that Harbor Fest alone. And now we did the chow down for a couple of weeks. Things just went very smooth. They were really easy, very natural for everybody involved. Uh, so we are having more conversation about creating our own event now. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know when that'll be. Will it be picked Thursdays or what? I I'm not sure yet. We obviously want to stay away from everybody else's events. Well, if people play their cards right, they don't have to cook dinner for three, four days during the week now. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what it's all about? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm the one cooking usually. Yeah. So. yeah, and that's what we're looking for. You know, it, it's a small area, this whole, you know, multiple communities in such a small area. You can get from one community to the next to go and enjoy and their, you know, eat at their event or what have you, listen to a little music that they may have. So it definitely turns into a multi-night opportunity for mm -hmm. most people in the valley right we're all yeah. close right and if you can't make one you can attend another it that's yeah absolutely that's really what it's all about absolutely. and i do know that you've recently created a community garden yes. as well yes um i can't take all the credit for that um other than the nod to move forward with it um we did have some folks approach the community or from the community approach the board uh, with this idea of creating a community garden. And uh, we were definitely full on board with it. And, um, you know, simply the board and myself gave them permission to move forward. Uh, we ended up securing some grant funding for that, uh, which was great to help kick this off for the year. Um, there was many volunteers that got involved in this. Um, it, it's a great thing. And now to watch everything grow and now mm -hmm. we're starting to pull a little bit of product out of there. It, it's, it's nice. It's yeah. fun. And it, also it's a nice way for people in the community, such as myself who has struggle <laughs> with growing things to learn, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. You know, you can go and you can learn how to plant things and yeah. when you should harvest. And mm -hmm. yeah, cause we pulled in, listen, it, it wasn't about just this committee, this subcommittee that's going to create this garden. It was about bringing people from the community in to help us build this garden, help us dig uh, holes and put seed in or plants in or what have you come down on a Saturday and weed it out. There's water there on Sunday morning, come down and water it, you know, if it needs watering. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're looking for is, is to just make it a full community event, educational opportunity as well for those, mm -hmm. you know, that struggle with that sort of thing. 
So yeah. you kill plants is what I, you're saying. Oh, it's, it's bad. <laughs> uh, my family has forbidden me to, to plow, to, to till the land, if you yeah, will. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's it's not pretty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this year I, I was, we're doing some, I'm I'm kind of doing raised beds. So it's, it's a little bit better. I was able to get some tomatoes and some things, you know, some peppers, that kind of thing. You should have come down. We could have taught you. <laughs> <laughs> they, they all came out really small. <laughs> you got to start small. Right? And then I, I've been trying 10 years. Years. I yeah. I can't I, I shouldn't even admit that <laughs> but I, I have so oh well but yeah, uh, yeah so I, I urge anybody in the alien community that ha they have a community garden your community Frankfurt you know reach out and, and try to participate and learn how to do it so. absolutely you know mm -hmm. we continue we'll we'll plan on continuing to improve and increase the size of the garden but it was a good start yeah. Fantastic. So, so one thing I want to ask you about is the Union Fork and Hoe land. I, I see that a uh, dollar store is going in. In the town. Yeah. Yep. It's in the oh, town in the town. Side. Okay. Yep. They are okay. putting in, I don't know if it's the Dollar Tree, Dollar General, one of, mm -hmm. one of the uh, dollar stores. It, actually, if, if I could digress just one moment, <clears throat> I looked at your website and I, I love the fact that you highlight on the website, you actually have a map and you can clearly see what is the village, what is the town. Correct. That is a nice tool. I think a lot of folks in a lot of villages and towns have blurred lines. They don't really know where one begins one and one ends. Yeah. So I thought that was really nice on your website. And that happened, you know, to your point about the blurred lines, it happens constantly. Um, I receive phone communications from people within the town. I'm sure vice versa. Glenn mm -hmm. in the town probably receives calls on our behalf, but... I typically try not to steer them away. I try, if I know the answer, I'll give it to them. Mm -hmm. I don't want to just tell them, hey, go over to the town. You're not my problem. Because at the end of the day, we're trying to drive community, right? Right. So, yeah, I might not be a leader in your community, but if I have the answers as a leader in general in the area, why don't they help you? That's so, a great attitude to have. Yeah. yeah. So going back to the the space, the union, uh, is, is there a lot of remediation that needs to take place? There was a lot of remediation that has been taking place over the last I want to say three, four years now. Um, I think we're, I say we uh, as a community uh, and Ames True Temper, who still owns the property, they took on the responsibility of cleaning it up. Okay. And kudos to them for doing so. Uh, I'm sure they seek, you know, some funding as well to help them out. But um, at the end of the day, they sat down at, at the table with us and they agreed to take on that responsibility. So over the last several years, they've been down there and they've been cleaning it up. And I do believe DEC has currently cleared them for commercial industrial usage. With that being said, they do still own the property, but I'm in a lot of communication with the IDA, John Pizik, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, he's fielding a lot of calls on that property, which we don't own it. They don't own it, but are there opportunities that we can work through? Yeah, absolutely. So we're looking forward to development here, and I'm hoping within short time. Good. Well, developers are, they're knocking down our doors for sure, because, you know, Utica is a great place, but I think they've used up a lot of their lands, their industrial parks, their brownfields have all, all been done, but we still have a lot of those here yep. in Herkimer County yep. and it's, it's a good opportunity for us. Yep. So, we, you know, I think sky's the limit. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we got the space in Frankfurt um, to add some, uh, we got municipal power, municipal water, sewer. Yeah. Uh, it, it's very a big attractive. Deal, you know, yeah, it's it's very attractive. These businesses. Where where exactly is that property? It is right on Main Street. Okay. Yeah. Yep. All right. But between yeah. Ilian and if you're going towards, well, for me, if you're, if you're going towards Melrose, <laughs> yes, Melrose. <laughs> you, you pass it every yes. time. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's a good piece of property there. Um, cleaned up fairly well, uh, considering what was there before. Uh, many, many, many years of having industrial. We all know what happens mm -hmm. in those situations. Um, but I'm, I'm happy to uh, you know, let you know that through communications, they're, they're at a decent level. I can imagine a developer is going to want to come in and snatch that up. Yeah. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I do know John, like I was saying, John Pizik, he's fielding a bunch of calls on that. Yeah. And well. he's very skilled at marketing. Yeah. He's, he's great. He's, land, he's yeah. helped us so much mm -hmm. in the community uh, and, and the area in general. Let's, let's be honest. He's, he's the bull behind everything that's going on. Yeah. You know, if a community will, uh, leader is willing to work with John, he's going to help you. Yeah. He's definitely. I agree with you. that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and you know, the whole Amazon thing. Yes. Uh, that John, John drove that. He uh, made communication with some folks and from there it took off and 
now they're uh, finally there. So yeah, they I, I'm re- they reached out to the chamber, which was nice. We we get all kinds of calls too. They wanted a place to train their truck drivers. Their, mm-hmm. You know, so I, I was helping them out with that. But it was it's just nice. We get a lot of calls like you. You, yeah. you don't want to, even though it's not really what you what you do, mm-hmm. you still want their experience to be a good one and, and you answer whatever question you can. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah. They're a great addition to your business park. Yeah. I mean, and, and from what I understand, you know, Amazon is big on community. So I'm even more happy to have them. There. Right. So. Well, one question I've received from several of the developers and several of the companies moving into these business cart business parks is about housing. Mm-hmm. So they they were looking for, you know, a place for new developments, new housing. Is there anything in the works? I know that you have, might have some land available. There, there is a lot of conversation and I'm going to put it as it is conversation. Um, what we ended up doing was we, we, we have a committee put together for, um, you know, development and we're throwing just all kinds of ideas at the wall. <clears throat> What's going to stick? I don't know. <clears throat> I got that tickle. Yes, yeah, I, I jinxed <laughs> you. Me. You've it's got your shells me. tickle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's usually me. Yeah, yeah. So I got this committee, and we're looking at many, many ideas. And it's not just housing. It's not just use of the Canal Park, which is where I'm assuming you've probably heard from. Mm-hmm. Is they're looking at the Canal Park for housing. Um, there are some residents that don't want to see it. Uh, there are residents that do want to see it. Um, at the end of the day, I ask people to just like, just hold on. Let us, let us at least, it's just conversation and committee. It's very early. It's very premature. Mm-hmm. It doesn't mean anything at this point in time, because there's millions of ideas that go in front of committees every day and they just toss them out. Um, I'm not going to say that we're not looking at it, um, but the committee is definitely discussing some housing on Canal Street. Uh, with that said, we just did a uh, survey. I don't know if you're familiar that we, we posted a survey. I have it right here. Yeah. So, <laughs> What we were looking for is exactly what I told some of the frustrated residents that live their backyards would join with Canal Street. And I think that's probably what's going on, the majority of the issue. Um, And I understand it. But what we wanted to do is make it a community decision. At the end of the day, it's not a decision that's going to be based off of 10 residents, right, within a community. I want to look at the residents as a whole. This survey was um, probably the start of me trying to do that. What do you want in this community? What do you want to see in this community? Where do you want us to focus in this community? What projects do you want to see? I don't care how silly it is. Throw it in there mm-hmm. and, and we'll talk about it. We'll weed them all out. And I'm actually glad you've got that. Survey. I do. Yeah, good. <laughs> I looked it up. <laughs> um, so there was a lot of good things if you went through it that, that did come out of it. Um, there's some, I don't think they, in that copy, I don't think all the uh, raw notes went in because there was some, no. there was some, uh, some raw things that obviously it's, it's never going to happen, but yeah, I mean, we got to be realistic at some point. So what we, what we want to do with this. So the NFL stadium idea is out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. We, we can't manage that. It, it, it was in there. Right? It, it was. <laughs> yes, I, I, yeah. yes. Yes. I mean, right down to, uh, and I'm not saying it's silly because it's pretend it could, it could happen. Uh, somebody wants a Chick-fil-A. Yes. Hey, yeah. They want a Chick Fil A. Everybody but, wants a Chick Fil A. What are you talking Chick-fil-A's about? Chick Fil A is phenomenal. I want a Chick Fil A. <laughs> they got to hop on you the throughway. <laughs> exactly. Now we can get up on the throughway and head to a Chick Fil A. Yeah. We're good. Right. Um, Eventually. Have, they were even more specific about this Chick Fil A request. They requested a Chick Fil A with picnic tables outside. So. Oh my oh, goodness! That's good. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. that's wishing. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. That was uh, great. Chick Fil A. I know that they have studies. A lot of these larger and people ask me about the restaurants that are coming in, and I a lot of them have studies of their own. If there's not enough through traffic, I mean, right down to a road study, yeah. then they just won't build there. Absolutely. So. And I think sometimes you know people want things like that, but mm-hmm. maybe sometimes they don't understand where those decisions come from. Yeah. Uh, quite typically, that's not going to be a village of Frankfurt decision. You know, I'm going to have somebody come in from Chick Fil A developing and say, "Hey, we want to put something in." But mm-hmm. unless that happens, you're never probably going to draw in something like that. Right? Yes, so. you got to have a lot of through traffic. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. uh, but hey, he, it doesn't hurt the wish. Well, I'm, I'm all absolutely. about positive thoughts. Absolutely. <laughs> but you know, there were a lot of great ideas that came into that uh, survey. And I was very excited to see it. I was impressed by how many people filled out the survey that actually work Mm -hmm. in Frankfurt. That was a higher number than I would have anticipated. Yeah, there's uh, 
thirties and it, it caught that age group in the thirties. Mm-hmm. That was the significant group. Yeah. 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 I was actually very happy to see that because at the end of the day, what are we trying to build here? Right. We're trying to build for those folks that are going to be exactly there. Yeah. You know, not that somebody in their eighties, their, their opinion doesn't matter. Of course it matters, mm-hmm. but we're trying to build the future. Yeah, right. And and we want to focus on the people that are going to be there for that future to maintain it if we do get it going. Yeah. yeah. And as you develop these projects or you come up with them, you can always work with, um, I'm on a group age-friendly Herkimer County. It's with the Office of the Aging. Yep. I know that they would be happy to, you know, give you recommendations if there was housing being built or mm-hmm. whatever the case is. So there, yeah. there are resources available and they're yeah. all usually pretty willing. Yeah. And, and not to go backward, but um, we, we started out with housing. Um, there is a project coming in the town side, just mm-hmm. into the town. Um, and I don't know how much of that's public at this point in time. But make, I, make a lot of it public, right? <laughs> I know, I know. You we know, like breaking it's, news. It's, yeah. it's slip that up. But <laughs> I, I do know that there's some discussion on some um, uh, condo type style homes going in. Mm-hmm. And it's not too far from the village. So yeah, uh, when that becomes more solid and uh, realistic, uh, I'm sure somebody in the community is going to definitely share that. I have no doubt if something is built, it's going to be filled up in no time. <clears throat> Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. There, the there, there's a need everywhere for it. Yeah. And Frankfurt is is nice because you really are, Frankfurt is so much larger than than people realize, you know, mm. when you include the town, but yeah. it's so close to everything. I mean, you can, if you work in Utica, it's a good, it's a good small town to, to be in and or village yeah. um, or you come to Herkimer. It's, it's really right nestled in the center. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Perfect. It is. Yeah. It's, it's great. <laughs> yeah. So um, actually on that note, I think we'll take a minute break. Okay. And um, is, it, is this a good time, Dave? Yeah, I, I don't follow the rules. Everybody knows she that. She never so. follows the rules. <laughs> <laughs> so we will take a break and we'll be right back in about a minute with the mayor of her, or I'm sorry, mayor of <laughs> Frankfurt, Rick Adams. Visit My Little Falls and stay connected with the latest news, information, and events in the city and the area. Our mission is to generate interest in the community and connect residents in a more meaningful way by facilitating deeper conversations about how these stories will shape the future of the Mohawk Valley. Join thousands of weekly visitors who stay up to date with feature stories, interviews, videos, our event calendar, and print publication, The Mohawk Valley Express. It's about timely local news for the community, keeping citizens informed about important issues, telling about the people who live and work here, and giving locally owned business the opportunity to reach a very targeted audience of locals and tourists alike. It's a whole new form of media-rich content developed specifically for today's mobile lifestyle and listeners. You can download our iOS app in the iTunes store, listen to our country music streaming radio station, or sign up for a weekly newsletter. Stop by today at mybunfalls.com. You'll be glad you did. County Chamber of Commerce with Mayor Rick Adams. Um, we were just going over some questions. I'm starting to kind of get into the infrastructure of things, I think. But one thing that did just pop in my head, um, the old Chips gas station between Illion and Frankfurt. I understand Correct. that's being that's under remediation and perhaps it's going to be um, complementary to the Empire Strait State Trailway. Uh, I have heard the same. Uh, that is uh, falling under the town of Frankfurt. But like I told you oh, before, again, if I have see? answers, I will help you with <laughs> yeah. that. But yes, that is my understanding. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that would be great if it does fall into that. Uh, what are they going to do there then? Uh, I'm assuming that building is going to have to go. Oh, yeah. Have to do a, you know, and it was a, a gas station. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Shop, yeah so. they have the tanks in the ground. They yeah. used to hold the fuel. So I'm sure it's a pretty major environmental cleanup. But yeah. uh, at the end of the day, you know, it's a great spot. It's the gateway mm-hmm. to town and village of Frankfurt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Um, something that I've, we've been talking about on our, on our end is finding a way for bike rentals. I think that there's a future there. We, uh, not to give away any of our future plans. Uh, oh, to, I to can't believe we won't break anything To, to neighboring communities, but uh, yeah, we don't want them to steal our idea. But we do plan to look into bike rentals at, oh, uh, at the moment. It's needed. And, you know, it, I, I think they'll take <clears> off, especially if you yeah. could find another one at another location where perhaps they could drop, drop it off. off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so that, that, you know, actually that's a great idea. And, and <laughs> you, you had mentioned that. that huh? Yeah. 
that yeah, that piece never came into play, but that oh. gives me the idea to reach out to some neighboring communities within, you know, a 10, 15, 20 mile stretch and say, sure. hey, let's let's do this together. I've been thinking about that or even, you know, like I don't know, canoe kayaks or something, canoe yeah. like, and then you enter and you know, I'm starting to go off on all these ideas now. So yeah, I gotta be careful. Yeah. But um, no, you know, like then it. you stop no, and it's you, good. maybe yeah. you can get ice cream when you stop and you do it. And It'd be I, the, I think the, there's a future. Getting picked up kind of thing at the end. Like if you start in Frankfurt and in Little Falls, you can check your bike in how do you get home? Mm-hmm. Kind of thing. Right. But but still you could say, Hey, I'm going for a bike ride, drop me off here and pick me maybe, up in maybe a you've couple got friends, hours. Friends yeah. and family in Syracuse. Yeah. You, yeah. You, yeah. you just are gonna go there. Yeah. But anyway, I like I, did you say earlier you had more time for committees? Oh, I know. <laughs> <Shoot>. <laughs> I, know, <laughs> I, know was, I think that was a no. <laughs> this is there. the part where I just won't make eye contact. <laughs> 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 um, so I, I, that said though, I, I would like to open it up to some ideas and some things that you have on your, um, on your plate that, that maybe folks don't know about your taxpayers or maybe just neighboring towns, people like me who are always curious yeah. and want to know how, how we can help. Yeah, definitely. So when I, when I run into office, when I ran, uh, my whole, my stage was, uh, infrastructure, knowing that infrastructure is in trouble in this area, right? There hasn't been mm-hmm. money for many, many years to take on these multi-million dollar projects. Um, federal and state have been very um, beneficial as of late with funding, significant funding for all these projects that we want to work on. So now is definitely the time if any community is going to replace anything infrastructure wise to do it, chase the funding and do it now. Um, you know, you got your water, sewer, uh, power, uh, roads, bridges, um, just for some examples, um, well, I'll, I'll, let me back up because we had <clears throat> something that pushed me into some of our infrastructure projects quicker than I anticipated getting to them. Uh, we had that uh, great Halloween storm in 2019, <laughs> which I'm yeah. sure we all remember. Yeah, well, everybody. Right? Yeah. Well, that created me some significant issues. Uh, I lost a bridge related to it, the Hilltop Bridge. We also lost the embankment behind uh, where the Fireman's Memorial Park is. Uh, if if that if that bank would have gone at behind that Memorial Park, that would have been very very problematic for the village of Frankfurt. It probably would have flooded the majority of our streets. To be quite honest with you, luckily it didn't happen. Um, but back to the bridge. So that forced me to start looking into engineering and design. And feasibility, can I even replace this bridge? Does this even financially make sense? Uh, at the end of the day, FEMA stepped up. So they didn't leave us any options. They, they were there with the money, so we ran, right? Of course, you always take advantage of that if you can. Um, so we got that corrected, took care of the embankment failure, which was another significant deal. Um, all in the process of while we were already working on uh, the sewer project, we, re- we replaced, re- relined, rehabilitated uh, every single bit of the community of Frankfurt sewer system. It's wow. all new. Whether, like I said, whether it was relined or replaced, it's it's all new, guaranteed 70, 75 years. That's huge. You know, we'll mm-hmm. all be long gone yep. by the time anything needs to be done there again. Um, and what I want to try to do before I leave office is set up. Uh, counts in, in the budgets. And every year we try to slip a little money into those so we can continue maintaining those systems once we do build them, because it was never done in the past. The money wasn't there. Um, we started at zero to try to do all these projects. But <clears throat> so the bridge was done. The sewer project is completed a hundred percent. We do periodically find where uh, not necessarily engineering, but the contractor may have missed something and we take care of it. Um, through all that time, we've been working on a water distribution system project as well. We want to replace everything that wasn't replaced back in 93 when a previous administration had started a water project. So we're going to replace the entire remainder of the village, which is a significant portion of it. Probably three quarters of the village is left. Uh, we did chase state grant money. We did chase federal money on that as well. <clears throat> and so far to date, we received three million for state and three million for federal. So that just about pays for the project. So we're going to hopefully within you know the next six months kick that project off. Um, we anticipate that the engineering side of it should be completed. Um, beyond that, 
Uh, marina was another big focus for us to help with our whole community thing. Um, so we've been working in the marina. We re rehabbed all the docks. Um, we obviously, maybe you know, maybe you don't know, we now have a brewery at the marina. Yes, yeah. And, and it looks beautiful a, down yeah, there. They're doing a phenomenal job. And it's come down to a point where they're actually doing so well that we're talking with them about expansion because, you know, Jeff, I don't know if you know Jeff Kenville, he's the owner of, of Heel Path. Mm -hmm. uh, he comes to my committee meetings and he's like, hey, you know, I'm really in need of some more spaces or anything we can do grant wise. So at the end of the day, we're, we're talking about, you know, filing for some grants to help them expand, which in turn helps expand our marina. Um, we are going to be putting in a uh, amphitheater. We've already I've been approved for a grant for that. I see. I saw Very that nice. was actually one of the yeah. <laughs> one of the things in your survey. Yeah. So a recommendation. Um, yeah. Uh, it, it's kind of nice because some of the stuff that's getting out and came back on the survey is some stuff that we've already been working on and people just aren't aware, you know, which is the shows like oh. this are phenomenal for that. As yeah. Well. Yeah. So it was nice to see that, you know, the community and the committees are already aligned on some things. Um, so the, the, uh, opportunity is is huge in the marina in my opinion uh we're one of few natural harbors along the whole canal system through new york state i don't know if you're aware of mm -hmm. that either yeah yeah i think there's two or three total natural and we're one of them so nice. we gotta we gotta hey. we gotta take it take it you know take advantage of it there's a lot we'll talk after the show there's a lot going on with the canal ways right now yeah. it's there's so much opportunity yeah. so Oh, yeah, after the show. After the show, yeah. <laughs> this is the after the show show? After the show show. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, sometimes you have the meeting before the meeting, yeah, the meeting yeah, after yeah. the meeting. Yeah, right. <laughs> we do that. We do that. Yeah. 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 Um, as far as infrastructure, I'll move along. And uh, Main Street Bridge, uh, we anticipate the start of that in, in August. I'm sorry, not October, August. Could be October, uh, the way things have been going. Uh, I originally anticipated last fall we were going to start it in, for, you know, in the very beginning of the spring and happened it was pushed out uh just some things being worked through between the state and the engineering firms uh that we're utilizing for the uh the project um but right now it looks like probably august will kick that project off um like i said the water project we're hoping to kick that off soon too um there's a whole bunch of other little things i do have a committee in place for which pushed that survey out uh, they're working on the master plan for the village of Frankfurt, which we feel is a very important piece. To first step, mm -hmm. you know, find sure. out what's going on, where we want to be, what do we want to be doing in the future. Plus, it opens the doors for a DIRI, DRI project should we choose to go down that road. You're thinking all the right things. And to be honest with you, the only reason we moved into a planning phase was because we wanted to chase the DRI. And then we tried to start looking into what, what do we have to do to get there, right, and be ready for this, to real put a real application in and the planning side of that was one of them. Yeah. So once we get the master plan in place, then we can turn that committee into focusing on a DRI. Yeah. Which All we, those documents are really helpful because they yeah. provide kind of the basis for yeah. what you say you need the money for. Yeah. What yeah. I found interesting was there was never a master plan to my knowledge to be found for the village of Frankfurt before the one we're currently working on. So uh, I hope that, when I do determine it's time to leave office or the public decides it's time for me to leave that whoever is in place continues on with this plan, because truly this, this whole plan is going to come from the community, right? They're the committee members. They're the ones feeding the ideas. Right. They're reaching out to the community with surveys. Uh, so at the end of the day, it's not going to be about the politician that's sitting in that office. It's going to be about trying to complete the things that public requested right. from Yeah, them. I agree with that. that if you can't, a Huge. DRI isn't going to, you're never going to get a DRI number one or be awarded if you don't have the community involved long-term. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, beyond that, when we get done with the water project, and I know that my constituents have been very patient with me. Uh, obviously, we all know what happens to the streets in central New York in the winter. Yeah. They're horrible. They freeze. They heat up. They heave. They, they don't last. They, it, so, we do have street issues like every other community. Uh, I like to think that we're not as bad as You're some not. Of the communities. I, I will tell you, and I'm, I'm going to interrupt you here. I apologize. Please. But driving from Illion into Frankfurt, when you hit Frankfurt, it's like the sky lit up and the sun came out. <laughs> <laughs> it, like honestly, it, the clear you. roads ahead. Yeah, <laughs> so I, 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 that's my personal experience. Yeah. 
but the uh, frustration out of some folks, and once I explain it to them, they understand and it makes sense to them is, you know, hey, why can't you pave our streets? And it's like, here's the thing. I just did the sewer project. We ripped up all your streets to do this. We patched them as best we can, knowing we're going to get into a water project and rip them all back up again. And it just makes no sense to spend millions of dollars in in paving when mm-hmm. I'm just going to rip right. it up in a year or two anyways. So I keep begging for, you know, please just hold on. Just give me a couple more years of this and we'll be done with the suffering. Everything from under the ground up to street level will be done. Right? And that's such an important part. <laughs> that's they all Even it, though right? people don't see it. It's... Yeah. Yeah. They don't see those pieces. Um, some other pieces they don't see would be like our power systems. We spent money through grants, through some of it was uh, with help from the IDA and seeking funding for it and such. But at the end of the day, we ended up receiving grant money for uh, power uh, substation upgrades, which helped us facilitate tractor supply coming in, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. They're, they're a big customer. And we had to do some system stuff for the future. And um, between tractor supply and uh, grant monies, they, they made it happen. It made it a reality. So that's really a good thing. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah. Shovel ready. Uh, shovel ready. You bet. Um, so when at the end of the day, when we're done with the water project, we'll move on to paving, right? We'll mm-hmm. pave our streets. It'll look pretty again. And we've been doing so many things, you know, in between the majors, um, the street lights. We switched everything over to LED. Um, it That's, paid for itself less than a year. Sure. It That's, cut two-thirds of the, the power usage on the new LED lights. It was two-thirds cut from that budget. Wow. Yeah. And I think a lot of the community members just don't see the big, big picture. They Mm -hmm. just know the light bulb got changed in front of my house, but there's so much more to it than that. (laughs) Well, one thing I do want to kind of loop back to, because you kind of mentioned it twice and you said, when I do leave office. So are there plans of you leaving office (laughs) at some point? I have no, not not (laughs) at this point in time. I don't have any intentions. What I would like to do is finish this term up, maybe do one more term Mm -hmm. and that should give me enough time to complete structure and all these current projects that we have going on. And I personally feel uh, that would probably set somebody up for a very nice few terms after me. Sure. Um, hey, how long have you been mayor? Uh, six years currently. Okay. And I was on the board for eight, nine years before that. Yeah, I, so. I feel like our, in our adult, because Rick and I know each other from high school. <laughs> so obviously we you go way back, but it seems like most of my adult life, I remember you being involved in the village or firefighting. Or- 10 years back? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wish. I, I wish. Know. Back, so. <laughs> back a ways. It was way back. Yeah. Well, I mean, even before <clears throat> the whole political thing, I was with the fire department. Then I right. was an officer with the fire department. Uh, so before that, it was, you know, Little League. Uh, Little League board, uh, Pop See, Warner, Pop Warner. It's been community service my whole life. This is kind so. of your DNA. So yeah. I can't imagine what you might do with your time. <laughs> yeah. I, with, with some downtime. I being, would have too much downtime. Yeah, right? <laughs> He'll be out yeah. painting houses or something. Yeah, so since you're talking plans like that, any plans beyond, eh, I get this mayor thing done and maybe something else? There's little, been some discussion up. here and there. I've had mm-hmm. people approach me. Um, I, I don't know at this point in time. Right? You know, it's a big deal um, to take a step big enough that I would like to take. And let's be honest, they just restructured the the lines and it, and it I'm looking at the lines trying to figure out what's what now. I'm still trying to get myself <clears throat> situated with it. Everybody I don't know. Is, yeah. I, yeah. And I, I typically, I'm not the kind of person that would run to just knock somebody out. Uh, if I thought somebody was doing poorly, yeah, I'd make that attempt, you know, just to, even, yeah. if, even if it was just to send a message, you know, hey, we're not happy with what we're seeing. Even if I can't win that election and we're not happy with what we're seeing, let the numbers say it too and go from there. But beyond that, once we figure out the lines and who's in the positions that uh, that we deal with in this local area, well, we'll, we'll think about yeah. things. Even the county lines are changing. Yeah. So it's yep. it's very confusing. I, I always knew who to call for what, and now I'm kind of having to figure things out. Yeah, yeah it's exciting. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, well, it's nice to freshen things up, I yeah, suppose, you yeah. know, Every, make sure yeah. everyone's no, on their stop. toes. You need change. You need change. No. Yeah. <laughs> so, Rick, do you have any other uh, parting thoughts for us before we... Um, well, end the show here today. I would like to say, I think that, um, I, first of all, I very much appreciate having this opportunity to come on. Uh, like I had said previous, I don't typically 
step up for anything like this. So I don't know how you twisted my arm. I, well, <laughs> I, I'm going to claim just because you knew me from high school and you knew yeah, I yeah, probably yeah. ten years ago call yeah. you up and be like. Rah, rah. <laughs> <laughs> um, to not make an attempt to put names out on the table, I will say that I feel that the entire area is doing very well with projects coming up. Uh, projects that they're already working on. I think there's a big opportunity for this whole general area, the Mohawk Valley, uh, for the future. I think there's a lot of good things going on, and we just got to keep that rolling. We can't we can't have people get in there that aren't going to be interested in helping us move forward. Right. And, yeah, and, there's some great momentum yeah, right now. Yeah, and we got to keep that momentum going, and we got to help each other to keep that momentum going. So, like I said, it's not even about community lines to keep these projects going. It's much bigger. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, thank you so much. I, I'm really glad that you did take the time to join us, and uh, I'm sure that we'll have you on again sometime. Great. And if anything comes up, always give us a call, too. So we'd, we'd love to have you back. Sounds good. Appreciate being here. Okay. Well, thank you, everybody. We appreciate your time today. And if you have any questions on this or any other topic, please call us at the Herkimer County Chamber of Commerce at 315-866-7820. And we will see you next time.